Whenever you are EQing vocals recorded with a low budget microphone, trust me guys, the EQ settings are going to be different from when you are EQing vocals recorded with a more professional microphone. The low budget microphones tend to have a lot of limitation which we are going to address in this particular video and get our vocals banging like the professional vocals you always hear on radio on spotify and so on in this video of how to eq vocals like a pro i promise you you are really going to learn something new today from this video now the first thing we need to do right here is let's play this particular vocal mix with everything then we take it from there Fresh and clean can stain my white You say you know you fight my girl You say you know you swing my girl You say you know you taste my girl Back in the days nobody show me love Please, if you are new here, please hit that subscription button and turn on that notification so that anytime I post, you guys get to know because we post banger stuffs. Now let's take off all the effects, I mean the delay, reverb and stuffs. So let's do with and without plugins. Fresh and clean can stain my white Without Fresh and clean can stain my white With Fresh and clean can stain my white Without Fresh and clean can stain my white Fresh and clean can stain my white you hear day and night guys please like this video if you have not liked because you are about to learn something first i will just go straight to the point now let's take off every other effect right every other plugin right here and then we open our eq first off look at my graph my eq curve it is very very weird like a type right yes we are going to talk about this since this vocal were recorded with a low budget microphone i already know the name of my microphone so what i will do which i would like you to do as well is i will just go to the website of my microphone my microphone is behringer b1 so i went to the website and get this frequency response right here frequency response as you can see let me zoom it if you can see it well now, as I get this frequency response, I already know my microphone is boosted originally. The frequency response of this microphone, that means they have boosted this particular part and it's around 5K right here to 12K. And then this learned, this is learned and this is with at this particular point right here. If you don't know, then this is dB. You understand? This is the Hertz they have boosted this particular they have boosted this particular mic for 10 db 10 db guys so that's why my microphone tends to have the hash top and which i don't like and again when you want to start mixing your vocals right you will be like you will go you will rush here on youtube try to copy settings from one of these big producers you will go back to your studio you will try to put those it preset on your own vocal and the preset will not even sound good but it was sounding good when the producer used the presets so now this is one of the reasons why it might not sound good for you you might be using a mic which has been boosted at a different point and the producer is using a mic that is boosted at a different point or a flat frequency response microphone now most producers, they usually just start their first EQ. They will do some cuts and then they do some boost at the top end right here. But for me, as you can see, I'm cutting out to instead level out my own frequency before I start boosting, which I will advise you do that if you are using a low budget microphone. Now, listen to this vocal without this EQ. Fresh and clean cast. We are now we are talking only about EQ. Fresh and clean can stain my white with fresh and clean can stain my white without fresh and clean can stain my white with fresh and clean can stain my white. You will discover that the vocal is a little bit warmer. Yeah, the vocal is a little bit warmer, not not too bright like that because without the microphone, without this EQ, the vocal is too bright. Fresh and clean can stain my white. Yes, then with a tiny top end, which is not professional, like which is which will be very, very difficult for you to mix and get it right without it being harsh. Now, 
Stay right there, stay right there. You will benefit something. Since they boosted my top end at uh, for 10 dB, I reduced it right here, but I didn't reduce it for 10 dB. Don't forget, you have to use your ears as well. You don't just come here, you just say, okay, they have boosted 10 dB. You come here, you also want to cut for 10 dB. You have to listen with your ears. Fresh and clean can stand my white. You say, you know. So I cut here. Look at that. Uh, look at how uh, this this thing is very very tiny. When I boosted, when I cut this particular part, and then I do the normal stuffs. I am sure you already know how to take off all these other stuffs. I was just here to show you about. I'm just here to show you about this particular technique I discovered. Now, when I boosted this one, the question I know the question you want to ask right now, but the all the the whole vocal is not sounding flat fresh and clean can stand my it is very bright now right fresh and clean can stand my even more than the one of the microphone more than the original mic fresh and clean can stand my white you say you know you find my get you hear that yes because after this eq when we have flattened our frequency response now we start bringing back some of those stuffs now we are bringing them back with tools either making them warm a little bit because it will be very very difficult for you to mix them when you don't take them off a little bit now i am after this eq we are supposed to talk only about eq but i think you need this particular part after this eq as you can see i'm using this plugin let me bring it up okay this is it I'm using this tape saturation, but a very warm one, right? Then boost top end right here with a warm tube just to make that top end warmer. Yes. Fresh and clean can stand my white. Fresh and clean, fresh and clean can stand my white. Fresh and clean can stand my white. Without these two plugins. Fresh and clean can stand my white. Fresh and clean can stand my white. There is a big difference there. The SSR and the top end is really, really more controlled. I don't know if you are watching this video up to this point, please like, like the video, like the video. It is very, very important. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe, 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 subscribe. It helps a lot for me to bring you more videos and for YouTube to promote this video some, some more. So thank you for watching and stay blessed.